His Excellency John Ajekum Kufo, former President of Ghana. Uh, I am the flag bearer of the major opposition party in Ghana. And as I have said, I believe working a political system like we have in NPP calls for a good interdependence between the party and the media generally. Especially when you consider that we are in a multi-party system and we are trying to establish a democratic regime. A democracy thrives on information and the wheels of information is the press. So if you want to make headway, then naturally this should be a place for you to call. So I come this morning to, as I said, to reconnect myself and uh, solicit your goodwill and understanding so that uh, we, we cooperate to our mutual benefits. On his second attempt, he won to become the leader of his party in opposition in 1996. vigorously and again on his second attempt at presidential elections he won to become the second president of Ghana's fourth republic and was sworn in on the 7th of January 2001 ladies and gentlemen the state sword has now been presented to His Excellency the President. That is the symbol of his office. It is the symbol of the authority of the office of the President. From 2001, he ran two successive terms as President of Ghana, met with his cabinet regularly, and addressed Ghana's parliament as mandated. Mr. Speaker, the third program is the integrated bauxite aluminum industry, which I recommend strongly for priority action. He endeared himself to his countrymen as a caring leader. He was appreciated by them as well. Twice, he was chairman of the Economic Community of West African State.
President Kufo also became chairman of the African Union and hosted his colleague heads of states in Accra. He attended many high-level international conferences, including the Franco-African Summit, China-African Summit, Korea-African Summit, and Indian-African Summit. He attended and addressed the United Nations General Assembly. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, we watched, all of us, from our different parts of the world as the terrible events unfolded. And if there had been any doubt before, that experience convinced all of us that indeed our world had become a global village. A year on, we still bear the deep scars. We have not forgotten, and we dare not forget, because what happened was not exclusively against New York and the American people. Nationals of many countries, including Ghanaians, perished in that tragedy. What happened was indeed an affront to civilization itself. He was a regular participant of the G8 summit during his term as president of Ghana. President Kufo has been a special guest to the Queen of England at the Buckingham Palace and President Bush at the White House and to many very important heads of state and prestigious palaces around the world. We believe the success of the Millennium Challenge account His Excellency John Ajakum Kufo is a royal of the Ashanti Kingdom.
pays a stickler for custom, who pays his traditional homage to the Asante people and the Goldies too.